Greetings, greetings, and welcome to a Monday episode of Vagrom's Chance. I was told to start recording. Hey, I missed one of these. Didn't even notice. Thought I got all of these. That's from the growth lab upstairs. As is that. Um. Hmm. Let's get a factory block. I swear I got all those, but I probably missed one or two. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Put the, whoa. Let's put that back. I am going to just sort that nonsense. Uh, let's see. I'm not seeing any changes here. I still have my box from Mr. Hades. Um. I was warned. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, somebody pointed out in the comments, and I didn't think about this, use melons. If I get melons, then I could get, I guess, get, uh, grow melons for seeds, and then I'm already growing wheat. Uh, so just get the melons, auto-craft them into seeds, pipe the seeds into that. I might do that. It's tempting, because I am actually growing agrocraft craft melons. I think they're even 10, 10, 10 melons. I'm not seeing anything on this floor. Something's going on. I don't know if this has to do with episode. This is episode 50, by the way. 50 episodes. I. What the hell is that? They're all over the place. Hang on a sec. Let's go upstairs. Um, This is episode 50. But um, I didn't think it was that big a deal. I mean, I guess it's a big deal. Uh, it is the first uh, level. Wow. Oh, hey. Uh, mannequin. I'm not sure who the John Cena. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Somebody actually has a John Cena skin. We were joking about wanting a mod uh, that does that. My God, there's a lot of John Cenas around here. We we're joking about making a mod that actually does the uh, John Cena um it's a cardboard stand-up of John Cena, and it actually does the, you know, the entry music, doot, 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 every time you walk past it. I thought that'd be hilarious and annoying. This is a lot of John Cena's. I'm seeing periodic balloon releasings. Oh, it's spelled, hang on a sec, it spells something out. There's a whole bunch of balloons over here. Holy jeebus, this is a lot of balloons. Oh, VC episode 50, Bagram's Chance. I get it. That's cool. Um, wow. This is a lot of balloons. <laughs> um, I, I'm, I, I might leave them. I don't know. I'm going to leave these for now. Um, yeah, these are all just, man, after I, did, after I started setting up these immersive engineering balloons, people started going bonkers with them. And then started busting out the... Oh, my gosh. What on earth? Online detector. Oh, it didn't start triggering until I was online. That's clever. That's actually very clever. I approve. And uh, apparently I get a whole bunch of free redstone. Oh, different... Wow, are these... Uh... Blue, yeah, they are okay. Blue, brown, white. Wow, they have different colors going to each one. Ooh, I gotta say, this is impressive. They really went above and beyond on this one. 62 in that one, 23. A lot of purple balloons, <laughs> a whole lot of purple balloons. <laughs> Enjoy trunks, okay. Um. So I can put some Cena in your Minecraft. I heard you like John Cena. Thank you. Oh, gosh. I think that this is more than one person. I think the John Cena's were actually Trunk's fault. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of John Cena's around here. Oh, my God. I'm going to have a station staffed by John Cena's, apparently. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, God. Um, yeah. That reminds me, I know what I want to do for episode 51, and it's going to make use of repurposing all of these guys. I really, I really don't think I need that many John Cena's all over the place. Um, 
Wow, so many balloons. They're all the way back here, too. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to put that one out of its misery. And that, that one. Now, somewhere over here. No? Where? Oh, that's... Not even close to right. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where this one's coming up from, but I don't know. There it is. Uh, the buggy ones. They are all over the place. I saw another one. I'm not sure where it is. My God. Guys really went to above and beyond. So yeah, let's reflect a little bit on, um, by the way, I tested this weak blood shards. Even if, uh, if I put that in, uh, I remade my, uh, um, bound blade. So it doesn't actually have sharpness anymore. So it, it takes more than one hit to kill something. And it still does not work in the hands of, um, uh, killer Joe down there. I have to do it myself. So I have to turn on the spawners and the fans and basically take Joe's weapon away and just stand there behind him with a hole in the glass. And it's, it does work eventually, but eh. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, this is amazing. We get a lot of people pitching in on this, apparently. Uh, yeah. Episode 50, uh, still got plumes coming out. <laughs> How full of these? Oh my God, these things are going to be running forever. 62. Some of these have already run out. I think some are running quicker than others are. Or something. They're getting triggered more often. <laughs> okay, let's go sleep real quick. Um, yeah, so this is actually the first season where I've had multiplayer. You know, season two was single player. It was all it was me all by my lonesome until the last uh live stream episode where we wrapped things up. And uh, that was very, very cool. I had some friends step on and help me kind of wrap up the series, um, finish some big projects and get do, uh, done what we needed to get done. But uh, uh, season three is multiplayer and it's most likely going to be multiplayer from here on out because it's been working great so far. The guys have been very helpful. The server's busy. Everyone's in really good mood. Um, the Bromigos have joined us and they'll probably be joining us in the next season as well. So, uh, yeah, you know, the, the, the family's getting bigger, so to speak. Um, oh gosh, I wonder if I can, let's see if this works. Hang on a sec. Whoops. No. Gotta stand next to this thing and we, okay. I can go through one of those. Just enough space. So, uh, <laughs> I still like this thing. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to turn on my glider just in case, because then I could actually, if I wanted to, wee, a little bit of forward momentum. This is on my uh, dark steel armor. I do love, oh, does it actually put a, it does. It puts a really badly rendered glider on your back. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. We got to go down, go down there and actually show that off. We've got so many projects over here. I think Berg's still working on that. I'm going to wait. International Space Shoop. Um, but we started off right here, crash landed on episode one and, uh, kind of made our way for a very first few episodes. We had some workbenches right up here where we had a shared, uh, transmutation table and, uh, most of our actual, let's turn that off. Uh, most of our actual, yeah, there we go. Or at least my actual first few episodes, several of mine started out right here in engineering uh, and I actually used the habitat level up here as my workspace. It's been, uh, cleared out quite a bit now. Um, we still have some repairs that we need to actually do in the ship. This is my, technically my official <laughs> quarters. Um, I came back and claimed to my bed and moved it, but I'm, I'm tempted to put another one back here just to kind of, you know, keep it mine, so to speak. Um, Yeah. There were a couple of the guys that were still sleeping here until the second or third episode of mine. And then they went off and found their own place. Uh, we still have these machines that are community machines donated by everyone else. 
Um, there's a uh, gas tank with oxygen here for some of the actual gear downstairs. The uh, scuba gear. And um, yeah, we still have a stash of community ore that was actually contributed and mined up by everyone. We go down here to engineering. Uh, there was a wild in the first episode or two where everything was lined up right here. It was powered by a couple of heat generators from Mechanism. And it was really slow. <laughs> um, yeah, super slow. Um, Atmo in range. Yeah. Uh, not much has actually changed in the ship since then. The command deck is still a bit of a wreck, and we honestly need to set aside an episode to get a lot of the guys around here to actually help me repair it because I would really like to get that back in operational again. Now we've actually got not only the BDE, we've got the, the uh, observatory looming in the distance beyond it. I see all the balloons. <laughs> um, we've got the trade depot here. We've got a nice little break room for the employees. Copy maker. Don't believe I do. Don't mind if I do. We've got the um, Grimco fuel station. So you can stop off here and get, oh, there's liquid hydrogen, liquid deuterium, uh, tritium, liquid lithium, all sorts of crazy stuff. Brine, heavy water, biodiesel, all sorts. I might actually, I could get a little bit of biodiesel from this and uh, use it to power my drill until I get my setup finished. That might be a thing I could do. We still have not actually mastered uh, this. We need to get it finished, but Trunks has been so busy with a lot of things having to do with the schools and work. Uh, wait a minute, is he in school? I can't remember. I always forget which ones are in school, which ones aren't. So many kids. Uh, oh, wow, this is nice. Got some benches out here. Welcome to Hades Hut. He's actually got a glass roof. I love the contouring. Um, gotta think, gotta think. That, I think, is dark oak. And I think that is... Bruce? What is this? No, that's Dark Oak, too. Okay. Huh. Um, yeah. Got some automatic doors here. This is really swanky. I gotta say, this looks almost identical to some of the old Pizza Huts. It's a little downsized, but it looks identical to some of the old Pizza Huts that I actually used to grow up in with that when Pizza Hut was a sit-down restaurant and not delivery. I know. Shocker there. Um, food processor. Wow. There is a juicer here. Um, let's see. A dinner plate with, uh, I'm not sure what's on that. A hot dog, a carrot, and a steak. Yeah, we got salt and pepper shakers. Um, oh, he's got end, ender, I, I mean, uh, he's got an ender chest set up here. And a kitchen. I think this is actually, yeah, cooking for blockheads. He's probably going to get this whole thing tricked out. I can't wait to see what, if he, I don't know if he's finished or not, but I can't wait to see what other kind of stuff he does. Um, Hades is already pulling out some of the stops on this, I got to say. Yeah, this is cool. I like the glass. Inset, black stained glass, a little tinted, and big industrial fans. I'm a big fan of this massive fan. That's humorous. I don't know if that has to do with the... Oh, that's the kitchen. Oh, hang on a sec. I'm going to go back in and see that. I didn't even look up. Silly me. Wow. That is a big fan setup, all right. Um, yep. Hood for the ovens. Um, oh, wow. Frying pan with bacon in it. Yum, yum. Okay. So, um, yeah. We got the... Uh, we've gone from having a couple of... Uh, crafting tables and uh uh you know a few chests full of clutter right over there to the trade depot here and now is the actual central hub for the entire server we've got teleporters to everyone's base we've got them all labeled now that's the uh, stronghold that's the front door to the end we are actually going to stage once uh Greylock is back in the americas um we are going to stage a dragon raid um trunks that's my place Greylock, we've got the dark preacher Berg, run away! Um, I'm going to put a teleporter to the Bermigos here. I might do that this episode. We'll have to see. Um, and of course, the strain, train stations, we got this initially set up, but I don't think the trains are actually in operation just yet because we're still getting some of the kinks ironed out and Trunks got busy, but he will be back. Let's go back up. Oh, uh, we got the Ag Dome over there in the distance. We've got, uh, oh gosh, I don't know if you can actually see it from over here. 
and I, I've never really toured it. I might show it off, but um, off in the distance, just right over there is a house for a certain Sean W. Com. And it is a house in the clouds. And he literally custom made the clouds. It's really cool. Came out really good. I gotta say, this actually looks really nice coming up here to basically what looks like a party. Um, let's go over here. The balloons are still firing off. <laughs> uh, wait for Forge to figure out. I'm gonna stop for a second. Maybe. No? Not gonna work. Come on. I see on my map where I'm wanting to go. Let's zoom out a couple of steps here. There it is. The house in the clouds. I've never shown this place off, and it really is worth showing off. Um, it is one of our many wonders. Uh, I mean, look at this. He alphabetized his seeds. Is that crazy or what? That is way above and beyond. He left gaps when he realized he was missing a couple. He left a gap in the actual system. And then he's got dead space down here. He does not. He said he doesn't look forward to having to correct that if he missed anything. Um, yeah, he's got uh, his little kind of seed house. This is where he did a lot of his sorting and researching of various seeds. He was going to do gardens up here. He has been busy with work. Basically, they had some big projects that came in and he kind of got sidetracked. He hasn't been on the server in a little bit. I'm going to see if I can coax him back on here. Uh, but yeah, this is a workstation. Here it is. The workstation he was using for agri-craft. He's got little three by three farms. Water flowing all around him looks gorgeous. And of course, all of these are, these are clouds and chisel. You can make uh, bottled, bottled, I have a hard time saying that, bottled clouds. Ugh. And uh, so, I mean, I can fly, I think. Can I press myself up and in, into this and stuff? No, I can't. I have to go up here and then basically just kind of um, fall through. Can I? Nope. Okay. As far as it'll take me. Um, but yeah, this is all man-made. He made the house, this wonderful house he's got right here. Um, experience obelisk. This was what he used to charge all his stuff. You just stand in front of it real quick. Fireplace. I love this fireplace. It looks epic. Go up on the second floor. Great wood floors. Great wood railings. Great wood beams. Wool walls. Real nice and old school. But I think it came out amazingly well. Now, this is the ominous thing. He's got this, this, all of this on the ceiling. This is all one giant capacitor bank. If you look at this, this is, okay, 4.1 billion RF of storage. And then he has all of these. These are ender generators in an array. Um, he's got a condenser that makes eyes of ender, funnels them out into the actual ender generators. Uh, so when this thing turns on, it is ominous and spooky. I'm curious. Do I actually have anything that I could power up just so you can hear it? Um... No, I know what I can do. I think I have some of the sounds off. Hold on a second. Nope, it's not that one. You can kind of hear it there. I'm going to break it now. <laughs> I'm going to put that back. Anyway, um, yeah, he's got tons of space and a really amazing setup. This is the attic space, and these were his power flowers. I think he's been away just long enough that these things are probably maxed out. Yep, okay, he is using a loophole that basically gets um, a fully damaged RF... Um, uh, I mean, a uh, golden axe. It gets an axe that's almost completely dead, basically. If you look up here, where is it? Is that it? It's way up there. There is actually a... Um, you can't really see it, unfortunately. It's way up in the middle of these power flowers, but basically there is a condenser that's making... 
pickaxes that are almost completely dead. And then all these repair talismans repair them to full. They go from nothing, 192 EMC to 6,000 EMC in about a tick, a tick and a half. And then it gets shuffled over here to this thing, which turns them into octuple compressed cobblestone. One of those is worth 43 million EMC. Yeah, so he's got um, 30 octuple compressed cobblestone, uh, 216 red matter blocks. He's got 77 dark matter blocks. It's just been going on autopilot. Um, but I really do love this base. It's an amazing base on the server. Um, and, you know, gets time to let us oh, hop over the railing reminisce a little bit about how much progress we've made so far. We've got um, Dark Preacher and Trunks and Sean W. Com. Uh, we've got Shadow Star. We've got, um, oh gosh, so many other folks. Uh, Berg joined us. The Bromigos have joined us. Doggeth, Super Dave, uh, Casamuel, and so much more. Here's our big, big, big monolith of a home base. This thing has kind of turned out in some ways, completely different from what I anticipated, but in other ways, exactly what I anticipated, if that makes any kind of sense. So, yeah. Um, it's been a fun 50 episodes, and I have fun 50 more planned, at least, if not more. Uh, oh, God. So many John Cena's. I'm going to have nightmares about this. I'm surprised they didn't figure out a way to do the music in-game. Yeah, I know you could do it with computer craft. No, we don't have... Uh, I mean, open computers, I think. You could do it with Computronics and open computers, but we don't have Computronics in the pack right now. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I would basically like to thank the guys, everybody that's made the pack possible, that's made the epi 50 episodes worthwhile possible. It's been fun, and uh, we've made a lot of progress, but there's still a lot more to be done. I have many, many levels in these garden towers that I need to fill with seeds. Um, I barely dented Domcraft, and I'm just now really starting to make steam headway in uh thermal expansion i mean uh blood magic so yeah we're finally getting somewhere with immersive engineering we've got a really good foundation for mechanism going but we have more planned and uh there's still a lot more to go a lot more ground to cover and i can't wait to share it all with you folks i'm gonna call it quits here and figure out if i want to clean this up or if i want to leave it for a little while i think it's festive it's gonna i'm gonna have to leave it i think i'm gonna leave the balloons for a little while uh, the, the Cena's I'm going to, I'm sorry. These guys are probably going to have to go. Um, wow. I have a Cena action figure in my, oh God, how many, how many of these are going to be? Oh, they don't stack either. Oh, I know what I can do. Hang on a sec. <laughs> They're bobbleheads. That is weird. Um, I'm going to put one right there. And let's put one over here. And I'm just going to, I don't know, collect the Cena's. Uh, sorry, Mr. Flower. They're having a meeting around the pond. All the Cena's are getting together. Yeah, that's how it works. These two can be talking to each other. There we go. A couple of Cena's having fun. Yeah, thank you very much for joining me on episode 50 on a, a little bit of a retrospective on things. I am very glad that it's gone this far, but we still have a lot to go. And I cannot wait to get there with you. This is Begram signing off Monday episode, a very, very interesting 50 episode anniversary episode of Begram's Chance. Have a good day. Bye-bye. I'm going to go Cena hunting. <laughs> Almost forgot. I did have to clean up some of the redstone mechanism for the sake of, well, frame rate, but... Uh, the Cenas have been given a, a new home by the pond. I'm sure they'll be happy. I did discover you can set child mode on these, so I have a couple of kid Cenas going around, but eh, whatever. I am coming down here. And let's see. I need to right-click and change the icon for this. Um, That goes there. And everything. Everything else is actually... Oh, no, it's not. Hang on a sec. Um, that goes there. That goes there. And that's right. There we go. So if I click on that, all my armor has been removed. Everything from my hotbar has been removed, which means now I'm going to get this and put it right there. 
I'm gonna get this and put it right here. Now here's the thing, right? This is where all of my extras are. I've been forgetting and leaving it in an alchemical bag in previous world downloads. I do apologize. But in this world download, you're going to have access to everything. You just get that and put it in your inventory. And you'll have my EMC, a big chunk of EMC right there. There's more EMC down here for you to steal. The, uh, of course, transmutation table and the portable transmutation table is here. Uh, this is my gem armor. Really, really nice. I just shift right click. And boom, I'm indestructible. I am going to leave it all there. Um, I can even, where is it? There it is. Doot, 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 doot. I'll even put my uniform in here so that you can make use of it too. May it work well for you. Uh, by the time you see this episode, there's going to be a world download available for you to grab and play with. Load it up, we're still using version 1.3, I believe it is, of the uh, BC3 mod pack. And uh, yeah, it's either 1.3 or 1.31. It's basically whatever the latest public version is. Keep an eye open for that world download. Let me know what you think. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.